Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2000 through 2013 Chevrolet Impala. Up top here we're going to have our Kurt which is going to be a class 2 and right below that we're going to have our draw tight which is also going to be a class 2. If I were looking for a hitch for my Impala I would go with the draw tight but let's take a closer look at both of our hitches. Now the first thing you might notice is that both of our hitches are going to look very similar and have a very similar design. And that's partially because they're going to install exactly the same way. They're going to use factory mounting locations, so we're not going to have to drill or cut anything, but we are going to have to fish wire some hardware in place and lower our exhaust. One of the only differences that you're really going to notice is going to be the collar on the end of the receiver tube. Both of our hitches are going to be a class 2, which means they're going to give us that inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening, being nice for bike racks or some smaller cargo carriers or even light duty towing, but the Kurt is going to have this nice flush cut collar on it, whereas the draw type is going to have a little bit different style. It's still going to have that reinforced collar, giving it added strength and just an overall nice clean look to it, but it is going to look a little different and that's just going to come down to preference. Both of our hitches are going to use a half inch pin and clip to secure any accessories that we want inside a receiver tube. Now these are sold separately, but you can find them here at eTrailer.com. If you do plan on doing some light duty towing, there are ball mounts available for our hitches and specifically designed for each one of our hitch, and you can find those here at eTrailer.com as well. Now whenever we're towing, obviously we're going to have to hook up our safety chains. And the nice thing about both of our hitches is they're going to have this loop style. And as you can see, even with these really oversized hooks, we still have plenty of room to get them hooked on or disconnected. Both of our hitches are going to share the same weight capacities. Each one's going to have a 300 pound tongue weight. That's going to be the maximum downward force at the receiver tube end. It's also going to have a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount our hitch can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. With those numbers in mind, you always want to double check your Impala's owner's manual because you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I do want to mention with the Kurt, the manufacturer recommends any time that you tow any non-trailer loads or anything that doesn't have tires supporting it, like a bike rack or a cargo carrier, that you use a stabilization strap and you can pick that up here at eTrailer.com. Here we have our draw tight installed in our Impala to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Now the Kurt itself is going to sit in the exact same position. It's just really the only difference is going to be that collar that we see. But the cross tube on it is pretty hidden behind the bumper so we're not going to have anything hanging down real low. All we're really going to see is our receiver tube sticking out. I personally like how far our hitch sits in because whenever we're walking behind our Impala we're not ever really going to have to worry about hitting our leg on it. But if you're looking at folding accessories keep in mind that our hitch pin hole is back here and it's almost 7 inches to the outer edge of our bumper. So we want to make sure that we have enough clearance so that it's not going to come in contact with the rear bumper. And since our Impala sits somewhat low to the ground to begin with, if you are going to put a bike rack or a cargo carrier on there, I would recommend getting one that has a raised shank. That way we get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. So to sum everything up, if you're going to mainly use your hitch for recreational purposes like a bike rack or a cargo carrier, the draw tight is going to have a slight advantage because it's not going to require the use of a stabilization strap like our Kurt. However, if you're going to be using it for light duty towing, I think either one of our hitches is going to be a good option. And I hope this information has helped you when you're looking at a hitch for your Impala.